hello Taurus welcome back to my channel this short weekend read is for June 11th to June 13th 2021 or whenever you have run across the damn video anytime is the right time so as I'm sitting here trying to feel like get a feel of whose energy or you know the general Taurus collective I, I see there's two posters in front of me right now okay I rearranged my area the other day and it's quite awesome but I'm trying to get used to it but anyways that's besides the point here the strengths of Taurus are calm patient determined and reliable and then I look over here to my left and I see intuition mystery imagination patience integrity independence and then the weaknesses for Taurus are inflexible possessive jealous and greedy I don't know why I just felt like voicing those out to you may resonate with somebody may not as always I ask that you take what resonates and leave the rest for the rest okay and if none of it resonates for you or none of it gives you any clarity on anything I would check your other signs in your birth chart your moon and your rising sign okay obsessions scarcity consciousness attachment okay so we have obsession obsessions here and then I said a while ago that Taurus it says their weaknesses are greediness jealousy possessiveness and inflexibility now I'm not saying that all Taurus are like this but it might be a trait worthy to look into about yourself it might be something you don't realize okay there there's a situation where you may have been called these things and you might not have felt like you were these things but even though we might not mean to be that way especially towards certain people or situations um, sometimes what we say and how we say it or how we act can portray and imply those things if that makes sense to you guys somebody out there I think it'll make sense to someone out there it's okay though you'll get through it it's you know constructive criticism okay divine guidance and higher knowing I feel maybe some of you guys are finally starting to open up to your spirit team and this was for I think it was for Gemini Gemini's weekend read can't kind of came out with the same message as well patience and stillness okay um, and then I, I mentioned patience integrity and independence earlier Taurus Patience is needed at this time. You may feel like there's no forward movement, like you're kind of stuck in something, like stagnant. You have the number synchronicity, three, four, five here as well. Okay, sorry about that. I had to X out of something. It was giving me notifications, and I don't know how to turn the damn thing off. For some of you, you you've been okay, yeah. You've been speaking to your your higher source, asking for guidance and clarity in situations, but there are obsessions and attachments that you have towards things and you're not giving the you're not having and practicing the patience and the stillness that you need to receive the signs and messages and synchronicities you're asking for from spirit. Your dreams need a practical plan. And I I feel like this is like steps. Like step one, I want to do this. And then it'll lead me into step two, which is where I hope for this to take place. And then, you know, go up to three or five steps if you feel you need to. Or just starting out with one step. It's still a step. It's taking action towards something, right? Expect a powerful change. And there is a new moon today and a, with a solar eclipse so energies are pretty thick right now 
involving these moon phases, and they have been leading up to it since the full moon with the lunar eclipse. For some of you, I feel like you're going to hear the divine guidance. They speak to you, okay? That was messages previously, always. You know, they were always trying to tell you they speak to you through your thoughts, intuitions, and dreams, and that they give you signs and synchronicities. Like, I was always big about pointing out the numbers for you guys, the 345 number synchronicity. So, oh, okay, that's where you're taking steps at. Kind of realizing how all of that is in play with each other, huh? Confidence is your key to success. Having the confidence in yourself to know that you can strive through what you're striving towards. One foot in front of the other, okay? Even though you might feel like you're not moving forward and you're making no leeway on a situation, don't give in to those attachments of certain thinking patterns that you were so used to doing and falling into. <clears throat> oh, wow, there's one more card. Take time to breathe out. Take a break. Slow the chaos down in your mind. Focus on your breathing for a few. Take in some nice deep breaths in through the nose. Hold it for a moment. And release it. And as we're releasing that breath, we are releasing any tension or anxiety or stress that we have put upon our physical body. And do that three to five times. It'll help. You could do it along with me if you wanted to, too. Oh, wow. There's another card here. You and your loved ones are safe, Taurus. Okay? No matter what the scenario is or what you think is going on, just know that they are safe. Grandbabies, I'm picking up. Yeah. Grandbabies are safe. You may not feel like they're in good hands right now, but they're safe, okay? They have their own little spirit team, right? Paint the sun back in your sky because you are the only one who has the ability to do this. There are no outside influences that are going to cause you a great amount of internal happiness. That's just not going to happen. Happiness starts with you. I mean, you could win the lottery tomorrow, and if you weren't working through some of the stuff that you've been working through the past month, I'm going to say, I feel like you've been working through it for a few weeks now, over a few weeks. If you hadn't been working on that stuff and releasing and say you won the lottery tomorrow but you still had all these pent up things from past situations, childhood experiences and whatnot to deal with, I mean all the money in the world can't fix that, right? Okay, and the attachments here, okay you may have an obsession about a particular person but I'm feeling like the attachments is more like habits whether it's ha spending habits, um, you know, on your free time you just binge watch Hulu or Netflix, um, you have a substance, you partake too much in the alcohol, or you, if you're feeling a little more anxious also than normal, you might want to try to cut back on your caffeine and take like a slight break from it or dose down a little bit because caffeine amplifies anxiety, stress, and tension. But what I was trying to say is here, you're the only one that can do this. She's painting the sun back into her sky, right? She's the only one that can do it. Think first before you judge. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Yeah, we've all been conditioned. We all do it because we have our own things inside of us that we don't realize but if you're very judgmental and kind of harsh towards specific types of people or people in general you need to start thinking and I feel like a lot of you have already started doing this like oh shit I can't believe I just thought that about that person why oh dang you know what well that's not good I just noticed that the wax is dripped down over here 
onto my tablecloth okay sorry where was I okay but just think first before you judge and I feel like maybe a lot of you are already doing that like flipping it around like oh wait but maybe they're like this because of this like you never know what people have going on at home and what kind of inner conflicts they're battling as well when we ready ourselves for our ultimate destiny when we release our childish, selfish needs and realign our priorities to those of the heart, we can finally reach those magnificent fields of human empathy, kindness, compassion, forgiveness, generosity, and courage. Yeah. And that means letting go of judgment of others and yourself. <clears throat> that was a lot to take in, but if you want to pause it, and read it over again, you're more than welcome to. Some of you probably already know, yeah, I know I can pause it, Sarah, duh, but you'd be surprised at the people who don't realize how they can use their technology, okay? Let us believe faithfully that our dreams are worthy of any struggle and that it is our time to free ourselves and rise to the glory. It's your time to free yourself and rise to your glory and full potential, okay? <clears throat> You're the only one who can do that. It's up to you. You're the only one that can find inner happiness and outer happiness for yourself, right? Sun, the golden energy of sun brings fame and fortune. Prosperity coming ahead. And... We have confidence is your key to success. And I actually shared... Um, okay, so the sun is like yellow golden, right? This card is yellow golden. Um, also the, the color of the solar plexus. And I shared a Reiki energy session today on the Facebook page, Eagle Lily Oracle, if you want to look that up. It's only seven minutes long, and it's not like a real meditation. Um, she sends healing energy from her to you, and it's valid across all time and space, okay? So... Really, the, it's a good time to practice also being mindful of the way you're breathing and like when your thoughts get away with you or your thoughts consume you to, um, it's a good way, time to practice like stopping the thoughts. Oh wait, that's a thought. Okay, I don't need that right now and then focus back on your breathing. <clears throat> but all in all, whether you're thinking or not, as long as you say you're open to receiving her healing energy. It's going to be helping your solar plexus, okay? And this, yeah, the sun. Lots of yellow here. Yeah, that's been a theme here lately, Taurus, is solar plexus energy healing. Not just for you, but for other signs as well. I can't believe that happened, and I didn't even see it going on. Oh, well. It's cool, but it's messy. Wishes come true. Rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't want to focus. Fairy magic. I do believe in fairies. I do. I do. That's off one of the Peter Pan movies. Love it. Respectfully work with the fairies and elements to achieve your goals. So, see how they've got like this little ceremonial thing going on with the, the skull, the cauldron, and the candles. Maybe you're thinking about taking up some candle magic or candle spells. It's worth looking into, Taurus. Um, as long as you're setting the intention for good and protecting yourself in the white light, you do not have to worry about anything, any darkness coming to you, okay? You're releasing. You've been releasing a lot. Well, there's fairies on this card also. We have the fairy magic. And then I'm just talking about candles and then I noticed the candles over here. Maybe... You know, just be mindful of not leaving them burning on their own. All right, Taurus, I think that's all I have for you. Nope. Okay, hold on. One final angel message. Final angel message. I think I said anal message on accident. Damn you, caffeine. Angel messages. I'm sorry, angels. I did not mean to call you anals. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by the God and angels. Okay, so that's double confirmation for someone who's really been worrying about their family, okay? Just know that they are safe. 
okay? You guys might be working through some things together, but just know that they are protected and they are safe, okay? One more. Is there one more here for Taurus? Okay. Well, you should feel special because nobody else got to. Okay, just kidding. You are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. Okay, and that's it. That's what I have for you, Taurus. Have a good weekend. Stay safe. And as usual, it's greatly appreciated if you like, comment, and please subscribe to the channel. It helps others see these messages and guidance that they may need to hear, right? Um, feel free to share it as well. You don't have to share it onto a social platform, but it does give you the option to copy the link. And then you can copy and paste it to somebody in your messenger or texting groups, okay? Until next time, love and light.